Hello everyone, this is Dragonflame 701, and now it's finally time to do my second part of my Let's Play on this Yes, yeah, so previously my first Let's Play was my Metopia Let's Play, which is pretty much one of my most popular Let's Plays I've ever done with to my channel, and at least everyone really likes it, so thanks for watching my Metopia video, so I'm pretty glad how it went well. But now on, I guess it's finally time for me to get to a second Let's Play on this Yes. Yeah, Sadly, I can't do the switch just yet, but maybe I'll get to it later. So, recently, I guess it's... Okay, who turned off the lights? I have no clue about that, so... I guess we can look at the light when I open my answer yet, so... Let's open it up. Oh, hey, Boost. I never noticed you've been into my answer yet. So, what do you think? What are you doing here? Oh, you've been thinking about the game that I got. Well, I guess I can show you it. Because, yeah, I do got the game, which it has views in the game. And it is a Mario... Well, it is a Mario game as well, too. So, I guess I can show you it. Uh, <laughs> well, I think I already did a ton of your life. But, this one is going to be a game cartridge. So, yes, everyone, welcome to... Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. <laughs> okay, I did pretty much did two attempts, and some of the reason the sound didn't did not come on it, so that's pretty suck. But now, here we go, everyone. <laughs> that second entry in the Luigi's Mansion series, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. So it's not pretty much October, but oh well. I guess I can do it, but it is September. Of course, so one month until October, which is pretty much of a big scary time begins. So let's start this game up. And of course, I did check on the saves because Dora saved as on save one and two, but I delete all of them. So let's go ahead and go to the, to this file one. Start. So time for me to my sink because this is my blind playthrough of it. Having you play this game, never even watch it, this is totally blind. So what is it going to be up to this haunted mansion that Luigi's had to do? So we're looking at Professor Eged, and there is a ghost there. Hmm. Helpful ghosts. Okay. Uh, ghosts are pretty much toying around and setting up from something like Professor Egad's new invention or new mansion. Oh boy. Of course, that might be King Boo. We captured King Boo on Luigi's Mansion, but it looks like King Boo's back in to room more action. So, I better watch this. Uh-oh. It looks like Ghost of Prime is berserking. Because that looking moon crystal just got shattered by King Boo. So, well, that's how it goes. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. <laughs> Whew. I'm pretty much excitement because I never played this game. Man. Whew. Okay. I've been talking pretty much, so we'll get to the cutscenes. Okay, Luigi. You guys are pretty much slacking around. Luigi! I need your help, Sonny. It's an emergency. They guys have gone hostile. Ah, what are you doing on the floor? Never mind that. I'm preparing the pixelator. Well, still, young feller. Well, now Professor Egan needs Luigi again. 
Here we go. Hmm. I want to avenge that for the Egan, but okay. Whew. Oh, yeah. Crazy, you guys. Fenton's sure is crazy. Well, easy. Guess you had to do this again. Like the last time on the first part. Pretty easy, Luigi. I knew our paths will cross again. You seem a bit tense, son. Relax. You're perfectly safe here in this impenetrable bunker. Anywho, it's been too long, my boy. What have you been up to? Well, like, we saved the... We got all the mansion ghosts all to the paintings and now the ghosts got berserk. I imagine you've been off adventuring with a daredevil brother of yours. Me, oh, it just conti been continuing my research of paranormal happenings and whatnot. In fact, after our last venture, I became somewhat of an authority in the field. But enough about that. Let me fill you in our ghostly predicament. See on the screen? That there is the Dark Moon. It's a mysterious cholesterol body that has a terrifying effect on all the ghosts in Evershade Valley. When I hear about it, I jump at the rare chance to study ghosts in a peaceful environment. It was incredible, my boy. I was doing some of the best research on the long, my long and storied career. That is, until something snapped inside the ghost and they suddenly got all hostile. It got so bad, I had to escape from the gloomy manor and hide here, where the ghost can't find me. Of course, I'm not, I'm not one to sit around and twiddle my thumbs. I want to know why the ghost freaked out. So I settled in and did some research to figure out what had happened. That's when I discovered something truly astonishing. The dark moon has vanished from the sky. And on the, of that, the whole of Airstreet Valley had become enveloped in the eerie fog. Now I can't be sure, but I think the disappearance of the Dark Moon is what caused all this mess. And what a mess it is? If we don't do something about it, the ghost might leave this valley and terrorize the world beyond. Well, so, my research will go to waste. We can't let this happen, my boy. Now, I got good news, and I got some bad news. Wait here. Ooh, boy. And that's pretty much the Christmas chart of the moon. The good news is I found a fragment of the dark moon nearby. But the bad news is that I found a fragment of the dark new moon nearby meaning the thing's broken. And this the dark moon's pieces seem to be corrupted by some sort of energy. I reckon it's disruptive energy that suppresses the dark moon's ability to purify ghosts. But lucky for us I got inventions for all kinds of situations. Stand back, Sonny. Okay. So, what's Professor you guys going to do? Do you like the Dark Moon Fragment? Well, like I always call that. I guess it's almost enough to Wonders Mansions. I think. <laughs> I done it, Luigi. It seems to have regained its original power. And did you hear that whooshing noise outside, youngster? Let me check my instruments. Kermini! All the fog around the bunker is gone. Quick, let's take a look at the map of Evershade Valley. <clears throat> okay. So this part is open, so... Well, for the first start, let's go, go here. Luigi, do you know what the, this means? We could be able to reach the gloomy manor now. But more importantly, it means that restoring the Dark Moon will solve all the problems. If you find all the Dark Moon pieces, the fog in the valley will vanish and the ghosts will return to normal. But until then, all those ghosts will need to be contained. That's where you came in, Luigi. Yep. <laughs> Back to more ghost hunting is this. Why? You're the best ghost wrangler I know, son. Consequently, you're also the only ghost wrangler. I know. So, what do you say, young fella? Will you help me capture the ghost and restore the Dark Moon? 
<laughs> of course you will. It'll be just like old times. Poor Luigi. We had to go back to this again. A1 Polar Guys 5000. It's okay then. If you can read this, then I'll read it. If we're to restore the Dark Moon, we'll need to get properly equipped. I just got the device for a job, but I left it out in a gloomy manner. Mind fetching it for me, Sunny? Yep. What are you scared of, Sunny? It's just a few harmless ghosts. Well, a few hundred ghosts, and they're not exactly harmless. But looky here. With my brains in here, ah, you're. hmm. You're a bit of a pickle here, aren't we? Well, the only way out of this mess is to restore the Dark Moon. Which means we're going to need some ghost hunting gear, son. But when you know it, I left my new Polar Guide Spice Sazen somewhere inside the gloomy manor. So now I have cleared and busted from the around the place, I'm sending you in after it. Look familiar? That's pretty much looked like an original DS. This custom DS has an interactive map of the gloomy manor in it. It'll, it'll also allow me to communicate with you while you're exploring. <clears throat> and we got a flashlight too. And, and it's mighty dark in there, so you want this flashlight. Okay, answer. Let's test the DS. Incoming call for Professor Ega. Touch the screen to answer. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Now check the map. I'm marking an important location there. So then. Our our area is going to go as garage. So we can get our Polar Guys 5000. So, okay. That's a garage. I think that's where I left the Polar Guys 5000. You ready, son? I'll zap you to the gloomy manor with my new and largely untested pixelator. Let's hope all the pixels make it this time. <laughs> Hold on to your mustache. Or you just pixelating to the garage. Or maybe to the mansion. In front of it. Don't know. Still haven't played yet. So, can't wait to get into this game of the Let's Play. So this time, it's not going to be a single mansion this time. I guess it's going to be uh, pretty much more of the mansions than we've never been before. So, yep. Welcome to Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. So we're in the front yard. Search your garage. Okay then. Yeah, it does have the have motion controls on it, so that's what I had to do. Pressing the X button to look up, holding the Y button is to look around, which is going to be a little annoying. And of course the A button as well too. Okay, guess we got enough for controls. And Professor you guys calling. Hello. <laughs> Luigi, come in Luigi. You there, young feller? Ah, there you are. I was worried that the battery died on a DS, but turning that screen brightness down. So it should be good for a while. So yeah, I mean charge it, Professor you guys. Jeez. You look a ner little nervous, son. Try to loosen up a bit. Besides, tiptoeing about won't get us anywhere. You can run by holding B while walking. Now get a move on. Okay, Professor, you good. So we got the basic Luigi running. Okay. So let's check the the fort yard. We didn't we didn't got progress, so there's pretty much not anything. Okay, guess we can check things. So. Okay. Whew. 
So, for my little impressions, well, I'll get to pretty much more when, when I get more further ahead. Hope this game is pretty much interesting, but I pretty much do hear about other people. Pretty much that this game can be really competitive or not, but I'll get to it soon. And that might be the ghost I saw. Never for that one, so no worries. So let's go ahead and go to the door. So it's locked. Well, it looks like we need to find something. So we can look at the window. So we got the ghosts in the car. Playing around. And there are some coins there. At least I can use the, the control stick to move around, so that way no motion controls. But yeah. Can be a little scary, Luigi. And we found a little mousy. <laughs> well, we better get the key. So let's catch up, mouse. Get over here, you little mousies. <laughs> like the last time I catched it for my other episode. So, okay, we got the key, so now we can go into the door. Huh, well, it's like the key fades away when you open it. Has a little pretty freaky element. <laughs> it's pretty much gonna be scary, Luigi. Pretty much not when I'm playing on the on September. Okay then. <laughs> okay. Guess we can check this store. Because we've been to this store before. And we found the Progress 5000. <laughs> Already. So, time for Luigi to gear up to catch more ghosts. <laughs> well, it looks like Luigi made some noise. Search the garage. And for whatever you guys calling. Ah, oh, you found it. Good work, Luigi. That there is a new and approved Polar Guys 5000. It's simple to use. Press the R button to vacuum. Before you go hunting ghosts, why don't you test it out on some of the junk in that room? Go on, give it a whirl. Okay, then. So we got the Polar Guys. Gus. And it's motion control as well too, so this is gonna be a pretty much of a little problem from a let's plays. Which I do have a three which I have a three S catcher card, but oh well. Too bad you don't got it. Okay. Now we can suck up the suck up that dirt that we got. Okay, nothing. Okay, more. Got a ghost playing, playing ball. <laughs> okay. Those guys are pretty much playing around. Nothing on there. So, any more depths? Yeah. So, there will be a little, much, little problems that I'm gonna have. Because the R and L button 
are pretty little loosey. So, guess I did do hold up pretty much of it. So, let's get that dirt out of the way and let's go and continue on. And of course, the left button is to blow out dust and for vacuum it. Okay. So, let's continue on. So, guys, there are no save points on this, so this will be a little problem when we go and save. Okay. Well, we. I think we do got five more. Five more hours left. Five more minutes left. Hmm, well, it's like this time. It has a button this time. So that way you can show that you're gonna get to the vacuuming. So, the mudroom. And let's see, we got a ghost there. So. Let's check around. Hmm, feels like a rug has been pulled, so. Okay. Guess that's been pretty much important. Pretty much really like to react something. Okay, yank that. And that's you. Oh. And that's money, so I guess money is back. So let's check on the other window. <laughs> and we meet a dog. <laughs> eh, cute dog. Oh no. Those little dogs frisbee got got stuck. So that's not good. So I guess we can go go there. Okay, don't know what's what's this one, but looks like I can't go to it yet. Phew, that was going to be a little hard when I do motion controls on it. So, yeah. Hmm, I was like this area is pretty much that we can't go there yet. So, I guess we can go to, to this store. Nope. Looks like we can't do it yet, so. I guess we were going. Recheck this area again. So what happens if I do unfold? Oh, there's a key. <laughs> that was a little tricky there. So I guess we found a key there. Uh oh. Spiders. Oh, that one spider got out. So let's see if we can get that other spider out, but... Oh well. Guess we can't do that from now on. Okay then. I guess that'll be it for part one of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. So, things are probably getting a little more spooky than ever. But, well, we'll get that more until we go to part two. So, see you in part two.